All right, this is 10561 uh, Bermuda Isle at Cory Lakes. I don't have the sheet on me. I want to say this is six bedrooms, four and a half baths, pool, two car garage. You can see the um, solar panels at top. That's probably to heat the pool. Double doors, lots of windows to let the light in. Okay, right here is kind of a, a formal area or a sitting area with a dining room table or a dining room area beyond. There's a mural in the background which you could take down or leave, but you see the dining room table. Through the dining room area, and these are hardwood floors. Through the dining wood area, there is a uh, kitchen. Now, this stairway, you can go up the stairs from here or from the other side. There's two ways up the stairs, but I'll get to that in a second. You have your kitchen area, island, extra sink there. Backsplashes, pavers. Pantry. You have a little breakfast nook off of the kitchen. And this one is on the water. It doesn't have a boat slip, but you could have one. You can see the neighbor has a boat slip, so I mean, you're entitled to it. They just never put one on theirs. Has the water fountain there. So off of the kitchen, you have your uh, family area. They have the tall ceilings, like the last one, probably 20 feet. Big chandelier. The last one didn't have any, uh, had, it has a cap. This one they actually put some type of chandelier. So at the last house you can do the same thing if you want, but they didn't. This is uh, just a little coat closet or storage area under the stairway. The master's downstairs, and I'll get to that in a second. But just going back to the front, because we just looped around, you can see the stairs here. So there was the stairs off the kitchen or stairs off of here. Either way, you can, go, you can go up and then go all the way to the upstairs. And I'll show you the upstairs in a second. These sliding glass doors opens all the way out. So I'll show you that. So you have panel one, panel two, panel three. And you're all the way out. So you have big open space to let in uh, some fresh air. And because it's all screened, you don't have to worry about any bugs getting into your house. This particular pool has these little. Uh, Circular uh, filters, they uh, when the when it, they'll open up and sh uh, move the water around, and um, I think they even take take in the dirt. It's a really sophisticated pool system that uh, keeps it clean, and there's a ton of jets all through the the floor. This is a half bath right here for the pool people. So, so when you're in the pool, it doesn't have a shower. doesn't have a shower, but it does allow someone um, to use the bathroom without going back into the house. Um, you can also see the upstairs is caged in. Uh, the one that we had done earlier, uh, you, weren't expo you were exposed to the elements. This one is completely bug free, even from the, the top deck. This one has an outside shower. So if you want to get the chlorine off before you're going inside or you have a shower area right there. You see the pavers throughout. 
Okay. So let me take you to the master. Up, the master's downstairs. All the other rooms are upstairs. So I'm gonna take you to the master. This is built-in shelving. Okay, master. These are real hardwood floors. Double French doors to the outside. Has uh, can lights in the uh, ceiling. So that's nice. Master bathroom. Double sinks. Shower. You have the tub with the jets. Closet comes with one closet to be shared. It has intercom system. Now around the corner, so we have the master. This is like a guest suite. And it's, uh, you know, it's once again hardwood floors. It does have a closet. Yeah, probably two feet deep, five feet wide, pretty standard. Has a full bath here, so a guest could, could basically, um, you know, take a shower. Downstairs laundry room. Has shelving here, um, has a sink. This is a two car garage, has the updated floors and light to let in. But it's really like a two and a half. It is two cars for the bay, but you do have this right here. So definitely, um, and with that, they, they have their recycle bin stuff, they have some cabinets, they're using some of the uh, ceiling space. So they're Utilizing it. This right here. This is the solar technology. So this is supposed to be to help heat the pool with the solar. And you have more cabinets, you have extra tiles to blow out. More space um, up in the air. They put they put that there for the tools. So they're, they're utilizing that half of half of Bay. Yeah. Let's go to the upstairs. This is hardwood and then carpet. Brown iron banister with wood. That would be to the kitchen area. Alright, so upstairs we have a, a secondary bathroom with the two sinks. Shower, tub, little uh, closet space. We have a room in here with the deck, so these two rooms can share the deck. You have a pretty decent sized secondary closet. Is looking down in the living room area. They give you a little extra area. Oh, actually, this is your air handler, so that's what that is. I think there's one in the garage. Here's another room with another generous closet. intercom system so you can play music and you can you know page people stuff like that here's a little upstairs loft so you can see who's here but they have this uh, wrought iron to protect you from falling out it's not a balcony 
pretty good size loft though. I mean, you could you could definitely put a couch, a sitting area, a study, a little home office up here. Has a great view. Yeah. This is uh, overlooking the front door. We have another bathroom here. One sink. We have another bedroom. I think this is six bedrooms, four and a half baths. So this is not a deep closet, but it's wide. Another intercom. Another bedroom, two closets. So you have a lot of width, not depth, but width with, with space there. Let's have the ceiling fans. Another intercom. And then this is like your media room. So it's not really a bedroom. It's pretty wide, pretty spacious. Um, these caps here are so that you can put speakers in. It really it already has the lights, but you can add speakers, um, which is great. It has all these features here that support surround sound and all this. And your cable TV can hook up right there. So it's definitely a media, media room. And then uh, you can go out to the deck area. Let's see if I can figure this out real quick. Oh, I just locked it. So here's your deck. And it's completely screened. Pretty good size width here. You could put some outdoor furniture here if you wanted. So, definitely usable space. Ceiling lights. And then here's another view of the downstairs. Okay. These are caps here for electrical. So if you ran some furniture, I guess, or some outlets, you have caps here. Alright, well this completes my video for Bermuda Isle. Bermuda Isle.